Hey guys, Sienna Zarin here with Red Carpet Report. Today we are on set of Sydney to the Facts, an adorable new Disney show. We're talking to the entire cast. Well, congratulations, you guys. Thank you. I cannot wait for the show to come out. Me too. So soon. So soon. A week. It's been quite a journey. What has been the most exciting part of all of this for both of you guys? I think right after I found out when I called her and we talked, it was just a really exciting moment. We were mutually feeling this just magicalness of getting to do a show. Aww. And I would say... Not even when we found out that I got the role, but when our show got picked up, we knew it was yes. going to be a series. I felt that was almost even more special because we had already known each other and spent three weeks together. Mm -hmm. And hearing that you're going to spend so much time with this person you've known to like love and like treat as your best friend, it was one of the most special moments of like. Oh, you guys! Oh, that I is so cute. I know, and I di I didn't mean to get mushy. I'm not like a really mushy person. <laughs> no, that's okay. Listen, you guys, it's so clear, have become like the best of friends, and I feel like that is like what more could you ask for, right? You guys hang out all day. Your characters are also best friends, obviously. What would you say? Do you relate to your characters? Are they similar to you guys? Are they very different from you? What is yeah. what is that like? Well, we're around the same age. We're going through the same things as them, and mm -hmm. we're both so close. So there's a fine line, but we are also very different people. We're similar and different. Like, there are definitely some differences and similarities with me and my character. Okay. Like, mm -hmm. Olive is a lot more quirky than I am. Interesting. Like, sometimes there are things I'm like, huh, oh, that's funny. I would never say that, or I would never <laughs> wear that. I would never do that with my hair. Okay. But I love, like, becoming her. And seeing the point of view from, like, being a different person. Right. No, that's and, like, great. Because she, something I said earlier was that, like, she's so confident and uh -huh. is never worried about, like, the way she dresses or looks or what she says. And her quirky personality is, like, but I feel like we've learned a lot about each other through our characters. So your character, right, is, like, you play jazz instruments. Do you remember yes, that? Yes, we both do. You we both, both play jazz instruments? Me and my character oh, both you play bass. Character. What jazz instrument do I play? <laughs> we both play bass. Okay, that's really cool. Yes. So was that something that was, like, a happy accident? Or did you say, like, hey, guys, I can play yes. bass. Like, <laughs> let, me, let so, me play bass. The character wasn't originally a bassist, okay. but they found out that I played bass, and they were like, cool, let's add that yeah, on the show. Yeah, that is super cool. A bassist? Yes. Oh, yeah, because like a guitarist. A yeah. Bassist, bassist guitarist. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Oh, we're learning things. Yeah. So that's awesome. So you get to actually play something you're passionate about on a TV show that you love. Yes. What more could you ask for? And exactly. your character... I think is like crafty. She's yes. into like school safety. She's very like by the book, right? Yes. She Olive is very like she is very educational. Like okay. she love she's like the biggest math nerd geek. Okay. She like loves math. And Interesting. You will get to learn that about her. Uh, she loves math and llamas. Llamas are like oh, yeah, that's such a big thing. Okay, well, lucky for her, I feel like llamas are like kind of a little bit trendy right now. Now maybe. llamas are in. Llamas and are totally like, in. Now Ava me. Has become such. Has I've become such a big fan of llamas, but um, what was the question? <laughs> Just you know what? What? You got what? Lost in the llamas. So, well, how could you not get lost in the llamas, though? <laughs> I would say. Oh, crafty! That's what it was. So, yes. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Olive. Olive loves arts and crafts stuff. Okay. Do you? So, oh, you know what's funny? Before I did the show, I was gonna completely renovate my bedroom into a DIY room. Wow. Just have recycling bins, art, paint bins, like, everywhere. I would have no beds in our room, sleep in a different bedroom, and just have a whole craft room. So that you, is a lot of commitment. So I don't you like You really are committed to crafting. I love yes. That yeah. is really great. So both of you kind of get to explore, like, your real passions. And yes. Stuff, and it's, like, perfect, For right? Sure. Perfect. So you guys don't really get to do any scenes with the guys because mm. it's different time zones and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, Hopefully, but eventually, though. Maybe like a, a fantasy, a flashback. Yeah. We don't, we don't know. We'll see. Tune in. <laughs> uh, but I'm assuming you guys get to have a lot of fun hanging out on set, be around yeah, other definitely. kids. You guys have to go to school, right? Yes, yeah, you see each other in school too. We have to do school, and we get that in when we're not. And we have or wonderful rehearsing. teachers, so they make it really Ms. easy. Lord, Ms. On Kelly. Us. Oh. <laughs> they're so fun. We love them. I yeah. bet. That they're is more so like great. moms than teachers. <laughs> so, but, but they're great teachers too. In addition to learning things through your teachers, I feel like some of the things your characters are going through, obviously they're very relatable. You guys are similar in age. It's, you know, it's it's sort of semi-similar to you guys as people. Uh, 
but you guys are taking on some kind of big issues. There's girl power themes Definitely. and, you know, figuring out how to fit in and stuff like that. Yes. Do you, have you learned anything from the lessons your characters are learning? Yes. I feel For like sure. we've learned a lot and I hope people that watch it will learn a lot. I want this to be a show where after every episode, somebody takes in something, takes in a lesson, yeah. learns something new about either like where their parents like, oh, mom, did you do that? That's so cool that you do. Yeah. You did that. So did Max. Yeah. Like stuff like that. It'll or start like, conversation. Like real, real life morals. Because yeah. they are just normal girls going through middle school and becoming teenagers and figuring yeah. out life. And middle school can be a tough place <laughs> to sure figure so out, is. right? <laughs> um, so one thing that I actually am dying to know. Okay. What has been the like funniest moment, either oh. on camera or off? But has can there... I say it this time? She can say it this time. Okay. Okay. So Ruthie and I, we were we just finished a scene. I think we finished an episode, and okay. it was a scene where I was using a Polaroid. Like, like a Polaroid. Tune, tune in to watch. <laughs> but um, so <laughs> we wanted to gonna say that. Yeah. <laughs> we wanted to take a picture of us on a Polaroid to remember. Okay. So um, we both sat on this ottoman. And we were on different sides, so I moved over to sit closer to her, sat and I lap. sat on her lap, uh huh, on like the corner of the ottoman. So they said one, two, three, three. and the ottoman fell. Click. Oh it no. totally <laughs> leaned, and her and I both were like, "Whoa!" And action I got shot. An action shot. Oh, you have the picture? Yes, yes. it's in I, her dressing room. I can room. go grab it, actually. <laughs> I love to see it. I, I, I'll go grab it and I'll show it around. Um, mm. I think that's amazing. If you had to say one reason for everybody at home to tune in, just a quick, quick little pitch, what would you say to people watching? It's a family, friends show, and I think they can really relate. Okay, you? Yeah. I think it's a relatable, hysterical show that you can watch with your family and have a good laugh. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, congratulations, you guys. Thank, thank you, you so much. Yes, thank, thank you for you. having us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. Seriously. Yeah, if they want to Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and in the comments, let us know what your favorite Disney Channel show from the 90s was.